Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to uh, explore an AA tool where it can be suggest that our article can meet the journal expectations or not. So if you are preparing a research article, after preparing a research article, so you have to change the research article for the format of your journal which we are going to apply accordingly so in order to change the after you have changed that format into journal so you want to get suge get suggestions from your colleagues or your guide uh, so your uh, whatever it may be you have friends from your friends you have to get suggestions so that can be done by using an AI tool so let us go on to today's video and explore how a how this ai tool suggest our research article to make better so thereby it can be helpful for us to uh, up, uh, edit that is change the options which is given by that ai tool and make our possibility of that article to be selected even better so let us go on to today's video the ai tool what we are going to discuss today is Penelop AI, it's an online tool that automatically checks whether the scientific manuscripts meet the journal requirements or not. So I am going to click Penelope.ai. So here these are the different uh, options it will ask. So I am going to give an author, submit. I am going to give check a manuscript. So here you can upload your manuscript. So let's let check that. Here I have a simple paper. That paper title is grid connected solar PV system with battery storage. Here it is an abstract of that particular paper. The introduction part of the paper. So next one is the block diagram of our proposed topology next to what is the different techniques that is used inside that paper next to basic details of that particular paper this is the simulation result uh, that is simulation block diagram simulation diagram in MATLAB so after that I have not added simulation results in this paper so and I have written conclusion and I have given references so this is the paper I am going to uh, Im <coughs> upload in that particular pinolab.a let us see how it generate the comments for this paper so here you can choose file or drag and drop here so you can see I'm going to upload this paper one Next it will ask what kind of research article is this. I am going to give research. Next uh, where do you collect the data from? I am going to give others. So where did you collect data from? Others. That is I am going to give through internet. Next uh, I, I am going to give my email id. give your email id and press enter so may we use your manuscript to improve our service so you have to give yes next you can give submit so you thanks editor we are we are all done you will receive feedback by email in few minutes so let us wait for, wait for that email so you here our email is we got our email so you can see <coughs> thank you for choosing uh, check our manuscript with Penala PA your manuscript being analyzed right now and should we receive feedback in few minutes let us see I, I think the feedback yes the feedback is ready so here you can see your work has been checked against your typical journal's author guidelines. Use this password to view your feedback. So we hope 
you find these suggestions useful just hit reply if you are having any questions so what i am going to do is i am going to copy the password so i am going to click view viewer feedback so i am going to copy the password here so give enter so let us see so here comes the detailed report of your paper that you have uploaded so here you can see 4 bar 22 checks passed so still 18 has failed so 18 is have to be updated by ourselves <coughs> you can see the suggestions have you included email details of each author so in the introduction part make journals ask for a list of keywords we didn't give keywords we have to give keywords have you said where authors work so you have to give that corresponding author details also author details have you included word count so we have not included word count should your abstract have a subheadings no have you included conflicts of interest no have you included data statement details have you included funding have you put figures in this file there are eight other things you should be double check so i am going to click so these are the things so have you named all authors in title page like that it will give suggestions so most journalist for keywords like that it will suggestions next you have c research article should include a clear statement of the main study aims and main major hypothesis research question some journal record this research paper specify whether the study is confirmatory or exploratory so like that you have to introduce in, make your introduction part more brief thereby it can improve the quality of your research paper next uh, like that it has many different options generated have you include all conflicts of interest like that it has generated so generally there should be submitted as separated files avoid using jp jpgs as this become pixelated make images larger that we like that how a image will be the resolution of image how the resolution of image will be like that it will generate the points so all cited sources appear in your reference list reference and citation uh, style match so this is we got tick here so here one re reference is not cited so you have to check out for this reference 7 is not cited so we have to check whether the reference 7 is cited or not so it can you uh, uh, maybe you can fail uh, during the fast process you can uh, fail to uh, cite a particular reference so you can use this option to check whether you can cite it properly or not so thereby you can use this option to make sure that uh, your manuscript you have prepared meet the journal expectations or not so this is an uh, different options available with this AI tool hope you can use this option to check your manuscript and uh, make use of this to improve your quality of your research paper so thank you for watching our videos hope this video will be very helpful for you have a nice day thank you